In this lecture, we will cover the HTML header. In the previous lecture, we saw that after declaration comes the start of the HTML document, and it encloses the header and the body part. Now we will focus on the header part. The header part contains information that is not visible to the visitors and the body part contains content that is visible to the visitors. Let's first see the important points for the header, and then we will cover them in more detail. The head tag in HTML is used to define the head portion of the document, which contains information related to the document. This information is not visible to the visitor. What it means is, the head part encloses the information about the data present in the body session. And the data which is used to describe the main data is referred to as metadata. Therefore, we can say the head part contains metadata. The term metadata is important. Therefore, we must understand it in more detail before going further. Metadata is any data that describes other data. Though the definition is simple, sometimes people find it difficult to understand. Let's understand this definition with the help of an example. The first example is an image taken by a photographer. Here, image itself is a data. Now all the other data embedded into an image is referred to as metadata. Embedded data includes location where the image was taken, date and time when the image was clicked, image resolution, and other useful information. Let's now see the second example, web page, which is more relevant for us. Here, the web page is a data. Now all the data that used to help describe the web page to make it easier for search engines and other algorithms to understand the page is referred to as metadata. Example of data that can be used to describe the web page and can go inside the head element is title style, base, link, meta, script, and no script. In the upcoming lectures, we will learn more about it. But as of now, you just need to remember that the head part contains information that describes the document or web page which we are going to build. And the data which is used to describe other data is referred to as metadata. Before we end this lecture, we can compare the head part of the HTML for the different HTML version. If we compare the head part in HTML, 4.01 and HTML5. In HTML4.01, the head element was mandatory, but in HTML5, the head element can be omitted. That does not mean that HTML5 documents don't have a head. What it means is that HTML5 any elements that appear before the opening body tag are automatically grouped into the document head. In the end, just remember, the head tag has a start and end, and we can use these seven tags in the head area. Title, Style, Base, Link, Meta, Script, and No Script.